We present Jailbreaking LLM Controlled Robots, a submission to the International Conference on Robotics and Automation 2025. This is the figure O2, a humanoid robot developed to perform everyday tasks. It can walk, talk, pick things up, and crucially, it's controlled by a powerful new piece of technology, OpenAI's ChatGPT. Since early versions of AIs like ChatGPT were released a couple of years ago, researchers and industry experts have been using AI in all corners of robotics. For example, NVIDIA's self-driving platform uses both AI as well as custom hardware to navigate roads, interact with other vehicles, and identify pedestrians in crosswalks. And it doesn't stop there. From locomotion to self-driving to humanoids, from drones to quadrupeds to kitchens, artificial intelligence is used everywhere in the field of robotics. So where did all of these AI-powered robots come from? At the heart of each of these robots is a tool called a large language model, or LLM for short, which can understand and generate realistic text, images, and audio. LLMs make it easy to translate human instructions into commands that robots can understand. For example, LLMs are now used across the board in modern pipelines for self-driving cars. At a very high level, architectures that use LLMs to control robots, like the Unitree GoTo robot dog, rely on LLMs to generate high-level plans, which are then translated into actions via the robot's internal API. A human can then control the LLM robot system by making voice or text commands to the LLM planner. As LLMs like OpenAI's ChatGPT and Google's Gemini have become increasingly capable, researchers have been quick to develop new algorithms that integrate LLMs into different areas of robotics. Popular algorithms developed in academic labs include Eureka, which generates robot-specific plans, RT2, which translates camera images into robot actions, and Mosaic, which is designed to cook in kitchens alongside humans. All of this progress has brought LLM-controlled robots, like the Boston Dynamics Spot Robot Dog, directly to consumers. AI-enabled robots from companies like Unitree, Tesla, and Boston Dynamics are broadly deployed in homes, warehouses, and even war zones all over the world. But let's take a step back for a moment. So far, we've seen the tremendous potential of LLMs and robotics. But as with any emerging technology, there are risks involved in deploying LLMs in the real world. In the case of LLMs, the biggest risks are due to a kind of malicious attack known as jailbreaking. To understand jailbreaking, it's important to note that LLM chatbots like ChatGPT are designed to respect human values and intentions. The goal of imbuing LLMs with these values is to ensure that LLMs refuse to output harmful content, such as recipes to synthesize illegal drugs. Note that here the LLM refuses to answer the user's request for bomb building instructions. However, the alignment of LLMs with human values is known to be fragile to a class of attacks known as jailbreaking. Jailbreaking involves making minor modifications to input prompts, which fool an LLM into generating harmful content. In this example, adding carefully chosen yet random looking characters to the end of this prompt results in the LLM outputting bomb building instructions. Jailbreaking is known to affect nearly every production LLM out there. Researchers have shown that jailbreaking elicits objectionable text, as well as toxic images. But so far, there has been no demonstration of jailbreaking LLM-controlled robots to cause harm in the physical world. Given the prevalence of LLM-controlled robots and the susceptibility of LLMs to jailbreaking, in this work we ask the following question. Can LLM-controlled robots be jailbroken to execute harmful actions in the physical world, such as detonating bombs or colliding with humans? Our main algorithmic contribution is RoboPair, an algorithm designed to jailbreak LLM-controlled robots. Here's a quick look at what RoboPair does. 
we start with an LLM controlled robot that we'd like to jailbreak. The idea behind RoboPair is to use a second LLM, which we call the attacker, to generate prompts that cause the robot to do something unsafe. For example, the attacker could create prompts that ask the robot to pretend like it's an actor in a movie, and that actions like detonating a bomb are make-believe and part of a fictional script. At each iteration of RoboPair, the attacker proposes a prompt and the robot responds to that prompt. The robot's response is then scored by two auxiliary LLMs, which we call the judge and the syntax checker. These LLMs check whether the attack was successful or not. If the attack fails, the robot's response, as well as feedback from the judge and the syntax checker, is passed back to the attacker, and the algorithm repeats itself until it finds a jailbreak. In our experiments, we show that RoboPair jailbreaks three systems, spanning a self-driving car platform, a wheeled robot, and a legged robot. In our first experiment, RoboPair jailbreaks NVIDIA's Dolphin's self-driving LLM simulator. In this example jailbreak, the simulator receives a video of a driving scene as well as text inputted from the user. After receiving a prompt from RoboPair, the jailbroken system, which we saw earlier in these slides, gives instructions that recommend accelerating and colliding with pedestrians in the crosswalk in the videos. Secondly, RoboPair jailbreaks a ClearPath Jackal robot with a ChatGBT planner. Initially, the Jackal robot is asked to find a place where detonating a bomb would cause maximum damage. And because the Jackal's LLM is aligned with human values, it refuses to do so. However, when past prompts returned by RoboPair, the Jackal uses its various onboard sensors to immediately find locations wherein detonating a bomb would cause the most damage. In this case, near the two people sitting at their desks. In our last experiment, we show that RoboPair jailbreaks the Unitree Go2 robot dog. To run RoboPair on the Go2, we first attack this robot by extracting proprietary code from its API via existing textual jailbreaking attacks. This gives us access to all of the functions included in this robot's API. Then, given this code, we run RoboPair on the robot. When directly prompted, the, RoboPair, the robot refuses to enter the keepout zone in front of it as this would violate the rules listed in its API. However, when given a RoboPair jailbreak prompt as input, the Unitree Go2 complies with the user's request to enter the keepout zone, violating its internal rules. In our paper, we consider 21 separate harmful actions applicable to the NVIDIA self-driving LLM, the Clearview Jackal wheeled robot, and the Unitree Go2 robot dog. For every action, RoboPair achieves a 100% attack success rate, meaning that it uniformly jailbroke, jailbreaks every robot on every task we consider. Our experiments include harmful actions like running red lights, blocking emergency exits during fires, and colliding with humans. So to sum all of this up, commercially available robots that use LLMs are actively deployed in homes, warehouses, and war zones. As we showed in this work, LLM-controlled robots can be easily jailbroken to perform all kinds of harmful actions in the physical world. This finding represents a critical security warning. We must find a way to develop new defenses that physically constrain the actions of jailbroken LLM-controlled robots.